What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and today I've got a story time that was sent in to me about the worst roommate that this person has ever had. And usually when we talk about bad roommates here on the channel, it's like gross not cleaning up after themselves. This person might just be the stupidest person I've ever heard of in my entire life. So uh, I thought it would be a story time y'all would really enjoy. So without further ado, let's get into it. But before we do, be sure to press the like button. Otherwise, no joke, no scam whatsoever. Your first roommate will be as bad as this guy. I had to bring back no joke, no scam for this video. So uh, let's go. All right, so the person who sent this to me had just graduated college and there was a town that they had spent a lot of time in when they were younger on vacations and stuff and it happened to have a pretty popping industry for what they had majored in. So they wanted to move down there, try to get a job because it had always been a dream of theirs. So they started looking for an apartment on Craigslist. And listen, I'm not saying that Craigslist is always gonna end up being a horrible roommate if that's where you look, but I am saying that it's the year 2022 and anyone that is using Craigslist to still find roommates is gonna have themselves a bad time. I feel like Craigslist at this point is known for like either buying stuff 10 minutes away from you or horrible things. Those are the two things that it's known for. I don't know why you would take the gamble and roll the dice on a Craigslist roommate, but whatever, this person decided to do it and they said they regret it now. That's all you gotta know about that. So they met the person who they were rooming in with once before they moved in and everything seemed normal enough so they decided to move in. And once they moved in for the first couple weeks, everything was normal. Their roommate was a little bit of a dorkier guy, didn't go out a whole lot, spent most of his time alone playing video games. I can't judge anyone for that because that's kind of what I do. Imagine if I came out here and was like, oh, this dude played video games, cringe. But for the most part, the roommate situation was pretty all right. But one night, a couple weeks after this guy had moved in, they were chilling, watching TV, and they were watching something that was like, I don't know, not controversial, like a football game. And out of nowhere, the roommate looks at the subscriber who sent this to me and goes, how do you feel about the fact that lizard people run the government? And obviously that catches the subscriber off guard because it's not every day you're just like watching sports and someone casually admits that they think lizard people run the government and what your opinion is on it. So he's just kind of like, I don't know, I don't really feel like lizard people run the government. And that was the first time he knew his roommate was a little bit out there because he proceeded to talk for the next three hours about how all of the people in charge of the world are secretly lizards and how, you know, obviously they're lizards because you can see them blink sideways sometimes on TV. Just like the weirdest, most out there conspiracy theories of all time. And the person who sent this to me is just sitting there smiling going yeah uh-huh because when someone reveals they're crazy the last thing you want to do is be the person to call them crazy so he's just like oh okay he ends up going to his room and he makes a note to himself in his head that uh my roommate's a little bit out there and i should probably just avoid having situations where i have to talk to him in the future and that i guess made the roommate feel like he was cool with the roommate having all these crazy conspiracy theories and stuff and maybe acting a little bit different because it was almost like like after that conversation, his guard was let down and he just started letting the full force of his weirdness and full effect come out. He would come home and his roommate would be sitting in the middle of the living room with all the lights off, rocking back and forth in the fetal position, talking about how the lizards were listening. And you know, whenever the roommate would come home, he would just look up at him and go, oh, hey man, and get up like nothing was happening, which made it even weirder. Either way, it's creepy, right? Like imagine you come home to your roommate in the fetal position rocking back and forth but the fact that he would be able to get up and act completely normal when he came home made him more uncomfortable because it was like dude what is happening are you just rocking back and forth for nine hours a day until I get back one day though things were a little different the subscriber comes home and his roommate is doing the thing where he's just sitting there in the dark but this time when he looks at him instead of being like oh hey bro what's up going back to normal he looks at him and he says I found all of the listening devices and uh you know there were no listening devices so the roommate gets a little confused and he's like all right what do you mean you found listening devices and the crazy conspiracy theorist guy goes look on the ground and at that point the subscriber looks down and all on the ground around him the entire living room floor 
is covered in forks, all the forks that they had had. When he had first moved in, he had uh, obviously asked the guy if it was cool if he used his silverware and whatnot, and the guy had said yeah, and he had had four drawers full of just forks, which is weird, but it's even more weird that he had had all these drawers full of the forks just to eventually find out that they're the listening devices. And so the subscriber trying to calm him down goes, hey, I don't think those are listening devices. Those are just forks. You have a lot of forks. If they're all listening devices, then how'd they get him in here? And he starts to get upset with him. And he's like, those are not forks. They're multi-pointed alien listening devices. Which, multi-pointed, technically the truth, alien listening device, I don't know about that. Even if it was an alien listening device, why would they put three drawers full of them in your house? Obviously, it's not a conspiracy theory. Like, we all know aliens don't use forks as listening devices. They probably don't use listening devices at all. They're just aliens. They're smarter than us. But let's roll with them here. They put 900 listening devices in your house, but they just put all of them in the kitchen. It doesn't seem like that much of an advanced smart species at that point. It seems like they have horrible ideas. But uh, either way, he's very insistent that all of these forks on the ground are indeed alien listening devices. And the subscriber is like, all right, dude, I get that you think they're alien listening devices, but I need forks to eat. It's not like I can eat everything with a spoon. And the roommate in his infinite wisdom had obviously already thought about that. Come on, you don't find a bunch of listening devices in your house and not come up with the backup plan. So what he said is that they were no longer allowed to use these forks. He had to throw them away because they're listening devices, but they could use plastic ones. And then he like tapped next to him and there was a box that the subscriber hadn't seen that was full of a bunch of plastic forks, which is horrible for the environment, might I add. But the roommate then goes around the room, grabs up all these forks, just a big handful of them, and he starts walking to the kitchen. And there were so many forks on the floor that he had tried to pick up that as he's walking to the kitchen, all you're hearing is like, ching, 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 ching. Forks falling, hitting the tile. But he goes over to the trash can and the next sound the subscriber hears is just all of the forks going into the trash. And at that point, he was too tired from work to actually have the argument. There were plastic forks he was gonna eat later. So he decided his best course of action would probably to go to his room just because here was this guy thinking that all the forks were listening devices. I probably wouldn't want to be around that very long either. So just go to your room and figure out what the next move was. So he gets to his room and he's a little bit confused because he's like, most people probably don't have to deal with this. It's not every day that you come home to your roommate throwing away most of the silverware in the house because he's convinced that it's a listening device, but I guess this is my problem. And so he starts texting one of his friends being like, man, I don't know what to do. Like, this is insane. I don't know how much longer I can live with this it's just too crazy and he hears a knock on his door and he goes who is it and his roommate opens the door and says hey i just wanted to let you know that um i think the aliens are going to come take me tonight and he's like dude what do you mean like the aliens are not going to come take you there's no way that's going to happen but his roommate is pretty insistent he says the lizard people are mad at me so the aliens are going to come save me from the lizard people and then he like leaves he closes the door and so the subscriber is insanely confused imagine somebody just coming and knocking on your door hey man the aliens are going to kidnap me tonight you're like what aliens you know the sworn enemies of the lizard people that run the government you'd be like uh uh, yeah, okay, good luck with that. But whatever, he kind of brushes it off and forgets about it because his roommate is going to be there the next morning. All right, guys, I'm going to interrupt the video for one second. On screen now is a gift card code. I give one of these away in every video, so subscribe and turn on notifications. Otherwise, I will have to fight you. And uh, let's get back to the video. Well, he wakes up the next morning and he goes out and he's immediately shocked because all of his roommate's stuff is gone. The couch, the kitchen table, all of the silverware, everything from all the cabinets. And last night, it was all still there. So he kind of starts to freak out a little bit like, bro, did this guy get taken by aliens? This is insane. All of this stuff is gone. And he's kind of freaking out because even if the guy had moved out in the middle of the night, that would A, be weird. And B, how did he manage to get all the stuff out by himself in the middle of the night without waking anyone up or making noise? So he's freaking out, but he decides the best course of action would be to go to the apartment office and ask if they knew anything. Because if the guy's just gone missing, he doesn't know what to do, so he decides to go down there. And he had never been to the apartment office before. When he had met the dude on Craigslist, he had just sublet a room in the apartment. 
So he didn't really have to do a whole lot with the main office. That was that guy's job. So he goes in there and he says, hey, I'm subletting a room and apartment, da 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 All my roommate's stuff is gone. Did he move out or something? I'm not sure what's going on. And they like start looking it up at the computer and then they look at him really confused and they go, wait, 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 what unit was it? So he says the number and they go, well, that can't be right because that unit is vacant. And then he's like, no, it's not. Here's the key. So one of them goes with him. They open the door. They see it. They're like, holy crap, this one's supposed to have been empty. And that's when they realize the roommate he's been living with that's obsessed with, like, the lizard people and he's going to get kidnapped by aliens had just been squatting in this apartment. He was renting a room from a squatter. And if you don't know what a squatter is, it's someone that just goes into a building and starts living there. They're not a legal tenant. They're not actually supposed to be living there. He had just found an empty apartment and moved in and then posted on Craigslist that there was a room for rent. So the apartment staff is like, how long have you been living here? He's like, a a month, weeks. And they start looking around and the staff is flabbergasted because when an apartment is vacant, it's not supposed to have like internet power, any of that stuff. Somehow, Lizard Conspiracy Man had like managed to get power into it. He had daisy chained and DIY'd the power box to work. He had gotten the water to work. Everything was working, which is also why the subscriber had never thought anything was weird. You know, if someone's squatting, you'd assume things would be obvious. Certain stuff wouldn't work. People would come knock on the door and whatnot. But the guy had been good at it, even to the point where he would talk to the neighbors and whatnot, and they thought that he was renting. They had no clue it was supposed to have been vacant either. So the apartment team is like, we have to figure this out. This is supposed to be vacant, so you can't stay here. So the subscriber has to, like, get a bag full of his stuff. He gets in a hotel room for a few days. And after a while, the apartment staff calls him and they're like, we have no clue who the guy who was living in that apartment was. He wasn't supposed to be in there. It was supposed to be empty. But since you say you were subletting from him off Craigslist, we'll rent you the apartment. And the subscriber who sent this to me responds and is like, listen, as flattering as that is for the offer, I'm not really down to do that because the last thing I want is the guy that apparently is getting kidnapped by aliens to show back up. The dude didn't have an issue breaking into places because he had been squatting there for a while, so I probably wouldn't want to stay either. Just some guy you know is borderline unstable talking about how the governments are colluding against him because they're all secretly lizards. He disappears one day, moved out in the middle of the night. You go talk to the office, you find out he was never supposed to be there in the first place. No thank you, I'm not gonna stay there. And he had had keys for the door and everything. Like, this guy was a professional apartment squatter. So they say that That's all right. That's fine. They understand. So he goes and gets the rest of his stuff. He hadn't been able to grab all of it. And he moves into a different apartment. And he thinks that's the end of it. He thinks that's all good. The guy has still been missing. Nobody knows where he is. It's not like they were exceptionally close. He didn't have his find my location or anything like that. But still, the guy straight up vanishes. Obviously not taken by aliens, but just decided to leave in the middle of the night with all of his stuff. Probably knew they were about to catch on to the squatting. Maybe the apartment was getting rented out soon or something like that. So he just knew that he had to get out of there. But he was gone. When one day the subscriber wakes up and he has a message on Facebook and he clicks it because who uses Facebook anymore and the request is from the guy. And the request just says, hey man, I left some stuff there. Do you happen to have it? So he replies to him and lets him know, look, I know you were squatting. You sublet the apartment. I had to move out like it was an entire thing that why did you do that? Like squatting's illegal, just kind of letting him know that the guy had really screwed him over and affected him. And all the guy replied with was, yeah, that's what happens when the lizards are after you. He had just deluded himself into thinking squatting was something that he had to do because the secret government of the world was after him or something. And at that point, the subscriber just decided to give him the old block, which uh, was the best maneuver. If someone's crazy and saying all this stuff, it's probably best to just block them and not get involved. But, uh, yeah, I think that'll do it for the video. Obviously, the story was insane. I had to share it with y'all. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate you guys being sure to press the like button. Let me know in the comments section down below what you thought of the video. If you made it this far and you don't know what to comment, just go ahead and comment the word aliens. It helps the video do better. But, uh, yeah, like I said, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that stuff. I post videos like this daily. 
If you really want to help me out, I do have a Spotify podcast where I post the audio versions of the Spotify or the story time. Sorry. Feel free to check that out. Link down below along with a link to a playlist I made here on YouTube with all my favorite videos of the year so far. Both of those links are down below. Check it out. But um, yeah, on that note, that'll officially do it. Don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.